Semangudi Radhakrishna Srinivasa Iyer, the 25th of July 1908 to the 31st of October 2003, was a Carnatic vocalist. He was the youngest recipient of the Sangeetha Kalanidhi awarded by the Music Academy in 1947 and has received many awards including Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan from the Government of India, Sangeet Natak Academy Award 1953, Izay Pararinyar from Government of Tamil Nadu and Kalidas Salmon from Government of Madhya Pradesh. He was affectionately addressed as Semangudi Maama Semangudi Uncle by his disciples. He, along with his contemporaries G.N. Balasubramaniam and Madurai Mani Iyer, are referred to as the 20th century male trinity of Carnatic music. He was also considered the Patamaha, or the grand sire of modern Carnatic music. He was conferred with an honorary doctorate by University of Kerala in 1979. <laughs> Early life and training He was born in Tarukodikaval, Tanjore district as the third son of Radhakrishna Iyer and Dharmasambardini Amal. He lived with his maternal uncle Tarukodikaval Krishna Iyer, a violin maestro, until the age of four and after his death, moved back to his parents' home in Semangudi, Tiravarur district. At the age of eight he started learning music from his cousin Semangudi Narayanaswami Iyer. This was followed by some rigorous training under Tiruvadimaruthar Sakarama Rao, a famous Gatuvadyam exponent, an event considered by Semangudi as a turning point in his life. This was followed by another training stint with Narayana Swami Iyer, during which time he learnt a lot of Varnams and Kirthanams. Then he had a musical apprenticeship with Maharajapuram Viswanatha Iyer. In 1926, he performed his first music recital at Kumbakonam. In 1927 gave a concert in the Madras session of Indian National Congress, another event considered by Semangudi as a turning point in his life, as it catapulted him into the big league of Vidwans at that time. He was known for producing soulful music, highly creative and yet very orthodox, despite a recalcitrant voice. He was instrumental, along with Harikesanalar Muthiya Bhagavathar, for the work on the Krithis of Maharaja Swati Tirunal Rama Varma. After attending one of his concerts in 1934, Maharani Sethu Parvati Bai of Travancore was so impressed by his talent and scholarship that she invited him to come to Tiruvananthapuram to edit and popularize the compositions of Swati Tirunal. He succeeded Harikesanalar Muthiya Bhagavathar as principal of the Swati Tirunal College of Music at Tiruvananthapuram, a post he held for 23 years, until the age of 55. At this age, he handed over his responsibilities to another Carnatic legend, G. N. Balasubramaniam and at the behest of the Government of India, became the chief producer of Carnatic music at All India Radio, Madras from 1957 to 1960. In later life, he concentrated on concert performances and tutoring youngsters. He gave public concerts even after the age of 90. Concert performances Semangudi was widely renowned for his virtuosity as a concert performer. He was famous for the meticulous planning that he put into every concert, including the choice of krithis, ragas and duration. He was also widely acknowledged as a master of improvisation, particularly in the form of niravals. Semangudi was noted for his choice of songs, speed in rendering swarams and his ability to combine choice and speed with bhakti. Some most memorable concerts over the years had geniuses in Miradangam and violin in accompaniment. Palghat Mani Iyer, Mavalikara Velikuti Nair, Umayalparam K. Sivaraman, Lalgudi Jayaraman, Nagarkoil S. Harahara Iyer, T. N. Krishnan, Nagarkoil S. Ganesa Iyer, Trichy Sankaran, Guruvayar Dorai, T. S. Nanda Kumar and Velour G. Ramabhadran. Some of his very famous renditions of Kritis included Marubalka in Sri Ranjani Raga, Chakani Raja Margamu in Karaharapriya, etc. Voice Semangudi was well known for his uncharacteristically nasal voice in an era when practically every prominent Carnatic singer had an impeccable voice. In his youth, famous Kanjira performer, Dakshinamurti Pillai commented to his brother and teacher, "...his voice is as melodious as the noise created when a coconut shell is scraped on a rock. Don't bother to give him vocal training. Let him learn to play the violin." 
Despite such criticism, Semengudi worked hard to improve his voice through practice and rigorous training. In the end, his natural talent for music emerged victorious over his deficient voice and he became a phenomenon in the Carnatic world. His singing style has been widely followed, and his prominent disciples include Sangeetha Kalanidhis, M. S. Subbulakshmi, and her stepdaughter Radha Viswanathan, T. M. Thyagarajan, and violinist, Prof. T. N. Krishnan. His senior disciples include S. M. T. Parasala Panamal, Trivandrum G. Sithalakshmi Amal, Palai C. K. Ramachandran, S. M. T. See the Rajan, Mavalikara Prabhakara Varma, Prof. Kumara Kerala Varma, K. J. Yasudas, P. S. Narayanaswamy, V. Sebramaniam, Shri K. R. Kadaranathan, S. M. T. Mira Kadaranathan, Kadayanalur Venkataraman, V. R. Krishnan, S. M. T. Sithalakshmi Venkatasan, S. M. T. Radha Nambudri, S. M. T. Visalakshi Ramachandran. T. M. Krishna, a leading vocalist of the present day, has also taken advanced training from him. Family At a very young age, he was married to Thayu Amal. Thayu Amal, he always acknowledged, was a pivotal factor in the success of his career. The entire family was run with streamlined precision by Thayu Amal, when he had to frequently travel for concerts and also spend most of his time involved in music. Sons, Swami Nathan, Gopalaswami, Radhakrishnan Daughters, Shantha, Dharma Grandchildren, Jayaraman, Haraharan, Sriraman, Lakshmanan, Yoga, Bala, Padma, Anandi, Sankar, Jayashri, Srinivas, Vivekanandan, Vidya, Jagannath, 